Hi, this is Jason from the Dental Equipment Repair Channel. Today, we're going to talk about autoclaves. How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about autoclaves and an important thing to do with your autoclave to extend the life of it. Autoclaves are at the heart of every dental practice. They are responsible for sterilizing instruments and a lot of times they are sitting there in an office and uh, what happens is as they're used, uh, water is simply added to them and they continue to run. And one of the things that I've become aware of is that autoclaves um, in a lot of offices are not drained on a regular basis. Um, because of evaporation, water will be removed from the autoclave through the natural process of steam leaving the chamber. And the, when the steam leaves, obviously the water level is reduced. And as the water reduces down, um, staff members will add water to that, distilled water. Now, one of the things that people uh, might not be aware of is that distilled water tends to be slightly acidic. And as distilled water is used, um, the reason it becomes more acidic is because the distilled water will react with carbon dioxide in the air, and that causes the water to become acidic. And the reason this matters is because if you just run an autoclave and run it without draining the water, this acidic water will begin to uh, react with different components. Now, an autoclave not only has the part that you're used to seeing, which is a chamber, but it also has a lot of other plumbing and piping. It has uh, places that the, the air and the, the steam go that are um, oftentimes hidden behind covers. And what happens is as that acidic water affects um, the piping internally, it results in wear that makes components uh, ineffective as they attempt to hold back and direct uh, both steam, air, and, uh, and water. So this is a very good reason for staff members in dental offices. Um, if you're a staff member or if you're a dental repair technician, um, you should be uh, draining the water in your autoclave at least once every two weeks, if not weekly. Now, in addition to draining the water of the autoclave, you should also be, once a month, running some sort of a cleaner. Now, there are several different types of cleaners depending on the brand of the, uh, of the autoclave that you're using. And it depends which autoclave you have for which cleaner you use. Obviously, you want to try to keep um, cleaners uh, with the family that they're recommended for. But in doing these two things of draining your autoclave once every two weeks and running a cleaning cycle of autoclave cleaner once every month, you will extend the life of your autoclave. Hopefully, this tip will help you out. And um, I hope that you have a very happy weekend.